Hi, Nicola Ascom here, back for another in the Ask the Data Governance Coach video series. And today's question is, can I fast track the creation of my data glossary by using standard definitions? So this is a question I've been asked a number of times over the years. And I'll be honest, I'm not surprised that people ask it because data governance takes a long time. And particularly in the early phases, takes quite a lot of effort. So it's understandable that people look for ways to, to quicken this and fast track the creation of things like their data glossary. Um, I don't feel that it's a really good move though. And let me explain why by sharing an example that I came across at one of my clients a few years ago. So they had been making slow but steady progress with their data governance initiative. And they decided to bring forward some target dates for some completion of stuff. And to help with this, they appointed a project manager. And in between my visits, this had happened. And when I next visited, the project manager said, we've got to get the data glossary built sooner than before. So we've got to uh, find a, a better way of completing the data glossary than getting the data stewards to draft it and the data owners to approve the definitions. And I said, well, I can't really think of another way that would be successful or, you know, that I've seen to date. And what he actually said was, no, 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 we've got a really good idea. There's a chap that's joined that department over there that's just come from another company in the same industry. And um, he's got some time spare. And we've, we've spoken to him and we've actually given him the, the fields that we need to find. And we've, we've asked him to do it for us. And I said to him, but he doesn't know what this organization means by those terms. And he went, yeah, but they're, they're standard terms used in the industry, so it'll be fine. Now, I can tell you it wasn't fine. Um, this chap spent quite a lot of time filling in these definitions. He was very keen and pleasant and, and happy to help. But when we shared those with the data owners and the data stewards, they kind of were frowning, scratching their heads going, well, why have you written that? That's not what we mean here. And I can tell you that it, where I have worked with multiple clients in the same industry, it is very rare for people to use the same jargon in exactly the same way. They all think they do, but when they start comparing, particularly when people move between companies, there's always subtleties and sometimes it's more than a subtle difference. So I would love to say that this would be a great way to fast track and make some of the, the work easier, but I'm afraid it's, it's probably likely to result in um, confusion and, and rework and, and possibly even disengaging your data owners and data stewards. So I would advise ad avoiding that approach if you can. So I hope that's been helpful. And don't forget, if you've got any other questions you'd like me to address in one of these future videos, just send them in to questions at nicolaraskam.com.